Please don't adjust your sets. Yes, Pro AVL Central has returned to the sanitised studio and primed to deliver your weekly round of news. This year was going to be the year when NHK would broadcast the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in 8K resolution and 22.2 channel audio to its domestic viewers. Alas, for now, small projects lead the way. Malaysia's first Islamic television channel, Al Hijra TV, has upgraded the audio control room with the Calrate Brio 36 digital broadcast audio mixer and stage box. This item of news may possibly not be as eye catching as a global sporting event, but the challenges brought about by the global pandemic and the Malaysian government's movement control order has transformed this relatively straightforward install into a Herculean task for SIN supplier JAAS. Likewise, Stage Tech Asia's and VTech Engineering's commitment to upgrade Taiwan's transformation radio on air studios with DHD mixes took months rather than weeks. Following the publication of its 2019 financial report, Sennheiser has announced plans to cut approximately 650 jobs by the end of 2022 in the wake of the pandemic. Celebrating their 75th anniversary, the German audio manufacturer currently has a total workforce of just over 2,800 employees. It's expected that nearly half of the losses will come from Germany. The company cites both the long-term effects of the pandemic, such as the cancellation of live events, as well as accelerated dynamics in the consumer headphone market, which has declined by roughly 30 to 40% in recent months. The EMEA region continues to produce most, but the biggest growth in percentage points was the APAC region, drawn mainly from China, Japan and South Korea. On to the 2020 exhibition calendar. Plaza in London and Interby in Tokyo have finally added their names to the long list of cancelled events, whilst the AES New York show has moved online with Audio Engineering Month. Comprising of four weeks of audio presentations and activities this October, the AES organisers hope that the virtual format will give attendees the opportunity to fully explore all aspects of the PAC programme. In contrast, there's no sign of China retreating to the virtual world. Both Burr TV and the Pro Light and Sound shows in Guangzhou and Shanghai remain scheduled for August and October respectively. In Shanghai, visitors can explore the crossover of online streaming in various entertainment sectors including webcasting, multimedia digital applications and recording software technology. And finally this week, our newsroom continues to be educated, inspired by an interesting number of three-letter acronyms that threaten to become the common language. Our favourite this week, BTL. And Google duly translated this to below-the-line advertising. I think we all just rather have a good old-fashioned BLT. Until next week, please keep updated by checking our website. Stay well, keep going.